Raise your hand if you need divine direction. Come on. Everybody's hand should be up right now. We all need divine direction in our lives. And, you know, we want to know which way to go, where to turn, you know, what we really need, what to do in any given situation. And if you're like me, you know, you, you want to be in God's perfect will. I, I know that's true of you. So we need divine direction because sometimes things look very straightforward, but there's something hidden. <laughs> there's a, a devil in the details. There's a potential wrench in the works. And we don't always see what we need to see. Sometimes we want something so bad that we forget to ask God for direction. As much as in our heart of hearts, we really do want his direction in our lives. Sometimes we just move along without him. We don't acknowledge him. And therefore, he doesn't direct our steps. Now, he's so good. He works all things together for the good. But I want you to really press in with me today because we're going to pray about divine direction. And that means that means that we need to listen. We need to learn how to hear from God at a different level. We need to really you know, when you need divine direction, you, you, you got to shut out all of all of the voices because everybody has opinions about what you should do. And our knee-jerk reaction is to <laughs> ask our friends what we should do, ask our pastor what we should. And that's not wrong because there's wisdom in counsel, but you know, at some point we have to be able to hear from God for ourselves and know that we know that we know that we've heard so that perhaps we seek confirmation from other people, but we're not seeking them to be our God, our divine director. We need to pray if we want divine direction. We need to be in the word, because his word, come on, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. His word, it brings life. It brings light into our midst. His peace that passes all understanding guards our hearts and minds in Christ. When we draw close to him, he'll draw close to us. And so we need divine guidance. So we need to, we need to hear, we need to pray. We need to walk circumspectly. God can direct us through the most difficult trials, the most harrowing situations. God can direct us through the most wonderful opportunities, the seasons of growth. We need direction, divine direction in the good times and in the bad. You know, God can divinely guide us through dreams. God can divinely guide us through visions. He could send a prophet to prophesy to you. He could speak to you in a still small voice. God can guide you. He can lead you uh, through teachers. You can be watching something on TV that's not even a Christian show. And God can speak to you through that natural expression. God can send angels to you who are really humans, you know. Scripture says, you know, you might have entertained angels unaware of this because they can appear as humans. And so we need God's direction. We need to listen, listen, listen. We need to wait on God's direction before we make big decisions in our lives. We need to not be such, such in a rush, but we need to wait upon the Lord. So we're going to pray into all that and more in today's mornings with the Holy Spirit. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Mornings with the Holy Spirit. Walking in the Spirit, winning in the warfare, that's what I'm doing. And I prophesy something good is going to happen to you today. I'm coming to you live from Fort Lauderdale. Our church, Awakening House of Prayer, is here. And I'm there on Sundays preaching, praying, prophesying, and casting out devils. I would love for you to come to one of our three Sunday services. We're doing deliverance once a month on top of everything else that breaks out on a Sunday. You can watch that first message online, guys. It's free to watch at ahop.online, A-H-O-P dot online. If you want to go deeper with us, you can opt for the official web church membership at ahop.online slash web church. You're going to get into the virtual healing, prophecy and deliverance rooms, virtual life group, virtual uh, pastoral advice, virtual prayer line, virtual community. It is virtual, but it is 
powerful. Check that out at ahop.online slash web church. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the Ignite Prophetic Network. It's time for some of you to get on board with Ignite. Ignite is my prophetic family. It's a prophetic community. It's not so much for training as it is for practice on what you've learned. We teach you some stuff, but we put you to the test. We give you opportunities to interpret dreams and visions and go check it out. Ignite and the company of Sears at ignitenow.org. Amen. God is so good. We're going to read today from Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. And today's devotion is titled, Approach the Day with Gladness. Approach the Day with Gladness. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Count your blessings. Boast in Jesus. Approach the day with gladness in your heart. Let the joy of the Lord consume you, says the Lord. Let the, the people and circumstances you face from day to day can indeed be troublesome. But a glad and grateful heart that rejoices in its salvation will sustain and strengthen you through the wind, the rain, the fire, and the storm. Boast in Jesus and bless his name. Worthy is the lamb, says the spirit of the living God. He is worthy. He is holy. We need to understand that gladness is part of our protection against the enemy. Really think about it. Being glad. When you're glad, you've got what? You've got joy. When you've got joy, you've got what? You've got strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And so we need to be glad. Amen. We need to, this is a day uh, that, that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. We got to be glad. We need to be grateful. We need to be hmm, expecting God to do something new, something different. Hmm. Come on now. God is good. Scripture references are in the devotional. Pick up your copy of Mornings with the Holy Spirit on my website at jenniferleclair.org or wherever you find books online. Now the prayer starter. I bless the name of Jesus. I choose to rejoice this day in my salvation. Worthy is the Lamb of God who took away my sin. No matter what situations I face, no matter what trials come my way, I commit to rejoicing in the Almighty God. He is worthy, says the Spirit of the living God. Father, we give you praise today because you are a good, good father. There's no one like you. No one as holy as you. No one as awesome as you. No one as mighty as you. You are the on-time God. We don't have to wonder if you're going to show up. We know that you will show up. We know that you will never let us down. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us even till the end of the age. So we rejoice in you. We rejoice in you with gladness. We rejoice in you. And again, we rejoice in you. And again, and again, and again, we will continue to sing your praises. Come hell, come high water, come sickness, come disease, come pain. We will sing your praises because in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand, pleasures forevermore. So this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to be glad that we are alive. We are glad that we're walking in the spirit. We are glad that we have a world a whole eternity with Jesus. This world is not our home. We are glad that we are citizens of the kingdom of heaven. We are glad that you shed your blood on a cross to pay the price for our sins. We're so glad that we have eyes to see and ears to hear. We're so glad that we have a mouth with which to sing your praises. We're so glad for the promises of God, which are yes and amen. We are so glad that we can worship you in spirit and in truth. We're so glad. We're so glad 
We're so glad that you are with us, that you lead us and guide us into all truth. We're so glad that you show us things to come. We're so glad that you are our rear guard and you are our forerunner. You go before us and you, ha you, you hang out behind us, protecting us, oh, delivering us, hey, leading us and guiding us, prodding us along like a good shepherd that you are. We are so glad that we can use the name of Jesus. Jesus, the name above every name. At the name of Jesus, every tongue must confess, every knee must bow. You are the one true living God. There's nobody like you. So we're glad that you call us sons of God. We're glad that you call us the bride of Christ. We're glad that you call us your beloved. Oh, I thank you, Lord. We're glad that you've given us your very own peace, not as the world gives it, but your very own peace. We're so glad. We're glad that you've given us the fruit of the Spirit that is worthy of rejoicing. We're glad that we've got joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness. Hey, we are glad that we can be patient in tribulation and constant in prayer. We are glad that you are our provider you provide all of our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. We are glad that you are seated on the throne and we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are glad. Come on, somebody get glad with me so we can continue to in see the Lord inhabit the praises of his people. We are glad that you've given us the measure of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of faith things not seen. We are so glad that you are the God of hope and you will fill us with all joy and peace in believing. Hallelujah. You are the one true living God and we are so glad you created the heavens and the earth and you created us in your image. We are so glad that the trial doesn't last forever. Oh, hallelujah. We are so glad that we have friends and family around us who watch over us. We're so glad that you made a way out of no way for us. We're so glad that you see us in our affliction. We are so glad that you are Jehovah Rapha, our deliverer. We are so glad. And the Lord would say to you today, be glad and rejoice and and give praise and thanks to my name because I am watching over you carefully, says the Lord, for I care for you. I love you, says the Lord. I sent my son to die on your behalf so you could be with us forever, says the Lord. So be glad, not sad. Be glad, not mad. Be glad and rejoice and let this attitude of mind and attitude of heart propel you forward even in the midst of the dire straits, even in the midst of the fiery trial, even in the midst of the difficult circumstances, go ahead and rejoice and you will feel my presence in the battle. You will feel my presence in the pain. You will feel my presence when you rejoice, because when you do, I am there with you, says the Lord. You are with us. You inhabit the praises of your people. You are the God who sees us, who walks with us, who talks with us, who in whom we live and move and have our being. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Now, God, we ask you for divine direction. Oh God, we need divine direction. We need to know which way to go, which way to turn, when to go forward and when to sit still. We need your direction. Lord, forgive us for any time in which we have not obeyed your voice. We didn't hear your voice because we didn't wait on your voice because we'd already made up our minds what we were going to do. Forgive us for all the times that we did not acknowledge you in all of our ways so that you could jo joyfully order our steps and, and, and plan our way. Oh God, now we ask you in the name of Jesus to reveal everything we need to know in this season about our life. In Jesus' name, oh God, you are the great revelator. You are revelation personified. So show us the, the root causes of our problems so that we can direct our way out of the mess in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus, oh God, we ask you, we ask you, we ask you to make us more alert to your voice. Make us more sensitive to your spirit. Make us more apt to hear you, even in the midst of the cacophony in the spirit. Oh, so many voices competing for your for our attention. Oh, God, would you help us? Give us grace to hear your voice when you're speaking, whether it's in a still small voice or a booming, thundering voice, whether it's in a dream or whether it's in a vision whether it's in an encounter, a trance, an out-of-body experience, whether it comes from a prophet or whether it comes from natural circumstances, oh God, make us sensitive and give us grace to hear from you and give us grace to obey you. Give us grace to be not only a hearer of your word, but a doer of your word. We do not want to be deceived. We don't want to deceive ourselves, oh God, so would you help us? Quicken our mortal bodies, quicken our spirits, quicken our mind to understand your ways. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. You led them by fire in the nighttime and by glory clouds in the daytime. They knew which way to go. There was evidence of the direction. So Lord, give us evidence by faith. Lord, help us. We need to see. We need to hear. We need to feel. We need to know which way to go. We don't want to go the opposite way from your will. We don't want to be like Jonah who runs from what you want, but we want to run into your arms. We want to lock hands with you and walk with you and talk with you and receive from your spirit. And we want to exercise the gifts you've given us. So give us, Lord, divine direction on who to marry. Give us divine direction on what college to go to. Give us divine direction on which job to take. Give us divine direction on what church to attend. Give us divine direction on where to invest, oh God, in every area of our life. We ask you for divine direction. Open our ears, oh God. If anything is hindering our hearing, I break it now in the name of Jesus. I break the powers of every spirit that's trying to dull our hearing in the name of Jesus. We come against every demon power that's trying to keep our spiritual eyes dim in the name of Jesus. We say, get out. We cleanse our lens in the name of Jesus. We need to see you, oh God. We want to know you, oh God. We must hear your voice. We must receive divine direction. Would you help us, oh God? We take authority even now over every demon demon power that's trying to lead us astray. We take authority right now over every cloud of witchcraft that's confusing our souls in the name of Jesus. We push back the darkness of deception that's crouching at our door waiting for an opportunity to enter in the name of Jesus. We shatter your assignment now in the name of the Lord. We declare we shall receive divine the guidance in anything stand standing in the way, must bow to the name of Jesus right now in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask you to show us if we have any wrong alignments in our lives, any ill voices, any voices of presumption, any well-meaning voices, even well-meaning voices, even well-meaning voices who are leading us out of the path that you have ordained for us. We want to walk down the narrow path. We don't want to find ourselves on the broad path that leads to destruction. Help us, Lord. We disassociate ourselves from anything, any habit that's blocking us from receiving divine guidance. We break ties with every person that's blocking Blocking us from your divine guidance, self-motivated, presumption, whatever it is, God, help us to break ties with anything and everything internally and externally that would keep us from receiving your divine guidance. We say now in the name of Jesus, our communication with the Lord Almighty shall not be sullied. It shall not be hindered. It shall not be stopped. It shall not be thwarted. A free flow, a free flow, a free flow. We hear God's voice in the voice of a stranger. We shall not.
follow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Any demon power that's that's causing us to forget what God said to us in our dreams. We break your powers over our minds in the name of Jesus. We say die now in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to ruin our life, uh, making us feel guilty or ashamed or condemned or confused because we're not discerning God's guidance. We say fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, don't leave us at the hand of the enemy when we walked the wrong direction, when we defied your guidance, when we didn't wait on you. Show mercy on us, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, for all the times we refuse to obey your directives and accept your guidance in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, don't relax your hold upon us and watch us suffer because of our neglect of your spirit, God. Have mercy on us, oh, God and restore to us even now the joy of our salvation. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let a spirit of humility and obedience come upon us now in the name of the Lord. And we speak now. Uh huh. We speak now. Yes, Lord. We speak now to every voice of doubt that tries to make us think, make us believe that we did not hear from God. We break that assignment off of our lives now in the name of Jesus. Every demon power that causes us to doubt the instructions, the commands, the direction, the strategy of the divine, of God Almighty, of the Holy One of Israel. We say your end is today. Disappear. Go far from us now in the name of Jesus. Any doubt that's in our heart from past experiences, past losses, past mistakes. We command you to get out now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of unbelief that, 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 that muddies and dilutes the word of God, causing us to reject it instead of accepting it wholeheartedly. We speak to that spirit of unbelief and we say, loose us now in the name of Jesus. Every seed of unbelief that is in our soul, we break you in the name of Jesus. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. We say, go far from us now in the name of Jesus. We will, we have heard and now we believe and we will follow the way of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, lead us and guide us into all truth in the name of the Lord. Let our life disgrace every demon power and send confusion into the enemy's camp as we rejoice, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. We reject every spirit, every every power that's trying to lead us into bondage by causing us to make wrong decisions and missteps in the name of Jesus. Oh, we declare the way of the Lord and we will walk in it. Oh God, oh God, we will no longer depend on our own understanding. Would you forgive us for leaving you out of the equation, for leaving you out of the direction? Oh God, we will no longer depend on our education. We will no longer depend on our own reasoning. We will no longer depend on our own experience. We will no longer depend on the people around us, but we consult you. Now that is our, our, our decision, our firm decision. We will consult with you and we will wait on you and we will invite you into our circumstances before we say yes, before we make the plan, before we buy the car, before we contract on the house, before we marry that person, before we do this, that, or the other, God help us to consult you, to consult you. Now, every satanic machine being used to destroy your plans, your purposes, and your visions for our lives. We destroy you now by fire, by faith, and by force in the name of Jesus. We see every road of God that has been closed up against us through wrong steps, through demonic interference, through illegitimate actions that we have taken. We decree that these things are under the blood. We plead the blood against the demons and we plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves. And we say, clear out now in the name of Jesus, all spiritual dust that's blinding our eyes and making it hard to see. We say, Lord, cleanse our lens in the name of Jesus so we can 
see the pathway on which you have set us so that we can walk accurately in the spirit, so we can walk circumspectly, so that we can walk in faith, love, hope, and joy. Every power swallowing our efforts and plans to rise. We say fall down and die now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, use us as a testimony of one who follows you and what you can do with a man or a woman who follows your footsteps, who follows your pathways. Oh Lord, as we get on your path, we get in your direction, as we receive your divine direction and guidance, God, help us to execute it precisely, just like Moses executed the building of the tabernacle precisely, just like Solomon built the temple according to your directions precisely, just as Noah built the ark according to your specifications precisely. God, let us receive your divine direction with clarity and walk it out with precision. No detail left unnoticed, no stone left unturned. Help us, Lord, and use us as a testimony of a person that's blessed because of obedience to every minute detail of your plan. You have a reason for everything you do. Lord, use us to demonstrate how easy life can be when you direct and lead a man or a woman. Even our enemies shall be at peace with us when you are pleased with us. So help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to leave uh, camps of, called frustration and camps called confusion. Help us, Lord, to take a good look at the company around us and stop keeping company with people who are just flailing around, drifting through life with no direction and leading us down a bad path of, of temptation, of time wasted, of, of just money wasted and time wasted. God, help us to check our associations and disassociate ourselves with people who are keep, uh, leading us astray in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break ranks with the frustrated. We break ranks with the confused. We break ranks with, with, with Jezebelic uh, people. We break ranks with every demonic voice in the name of Jesus. We reject every satanic delay. We reject every hindering spirit in the name of Jesus. Every power waiting to consume us. After we start enjoying your direction and your guidance, we decree and declare that the consuming fire of God consumes you now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we break every covenant binding us with stubbornness toward God in Jesus' name. We will be pliable in his hands. We will be directable. We will be leadable. We will be teachable. That is our declaration. In the name of Jesus, we break and cancel all curses that we brought upon ourselves by disobeying God. With Jesus, Lord Jesus, by your blood, break the chains. By the power in that blood, in the blood of the lamb, we break and cancel every curse we've invited into our lives by disrespecting people of God, by disrespecting respecting those in authority to lead us and guide us by cursing and gossiping and slandering and disrespecting and dishonor. We break those curses now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We, we resist the devil. We resist every attempt to return to the days when we don't listen for your voice. We, re we reject every temptation to go backwards to the time when we thought we had it all figured out. We are utterly dependent upon you we will hear from you. We are confident that we will hear from you. Therefore, we will not make decisions on our own anymore. We are not our own. We were bought with a price. So we pray in the name of Jesus that you, Lord, you help us to stay humble, that you help us to stay teachable, that you help us, Lord, to continue to press in to your will for our lives, the kind of job that you have for us, the divine calling to ministry, if there is one who we're supposed to marry, the talents that we have, even if they're hidden, the giants in our life that hold us back from your will, the problems uh, that 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 are that are that are subtle that we don't see. Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. 
We give you power. There's no God like you, Jesus. No God as beautiful as you. You are well able to get our attention. So we say, Lord, get our attention. If we're going the wrong way, would you be so kind? Would you be so good to stop us in our path like you did with Balaam's donkey? Balaam, stop the prophet in his path. Would you help us today? Stop us in our path. Stop us in our tracks. If we didn't hear you, stop us along the way. Stop us uh, dead in our tracks, Lord. If, if, if we're going the wrong way, God, in the name of Jesus, and make us sensitive to your heart, you are the the spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty so we free ourselves now to wait upon you anxiety you have no voice in the matter fear you have no thought to share we will listen to the lord our god we will wait for him to speak we will no longer make large decisions or even small decisions without consulting our all wise god all his wisdom it comes from above and so we give you praise and honor and glory we magnify Magnify your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and there's nobody like you. So we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We adore you. We are so enamored with you because you are faithful and you are kind and you are good. So we praise your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on. Let me give you a little tip here. Don't ask God for divine wisdom and then go do what you want anyway. Don't ask God for divine wisdom and then not wait for him to answer you. Hello. So don't ask God for divine wisdom. And then, you know, you wait five minutes. And he doesn't answer. and You go ahead and do it. Don't be like Saul. Remember King Saul? He had the word of the Lord from Samuel. He, you know, you were not supposed to go to battle until the sacrifice. Samuel was coming to make a sacrifice. What happened? Samuel showed up right at the last minute. He wasn't late, but he was too late for Saul. Saul got fearful. He got afraid. <laughs> he didn't wait on the Lord. He didn't trust in the Lord. And he made a sacrifice and he lost the kingdom. We're not going to lose the kingdom, but we sure can set ourselves back. We sure can set ourselves back. We A lot of these setbacks we have, at least some of them, are of our own doing. We needed to wait on the Lord. Listen, if God's not speaking, I'm not moving. Come on. That's a good word right there. Write that down. If God's not speaking, I'm not moving. Now, don't take liberty with that. Well, God didn't tell me to get up out of bed. I'm going to sleep today. I'm not. Uh, no. That alarm, you know what? I'm just going to challenge all of you right now. Set your alarm 10 minutes earlier tomorrow. Get up and pray in tongues for the first 10 minutes while your coffee's brewing and while you're taking a shower and watch how that changes your life. Hello. I said, watch how that changes your life. Watch how that changes your life. Get Do what I said. Get up 10 minutes earlier. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. We're changing our minds here. Get up 10 minutes earlier. Wake up. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say, help me, God. Thank you, God. And then start praying in tongues. Set a timer on your phone and pray in tongues for 10 minutes. Watch what that does in your life. Listen, before you open your phone and look at your email or your Twitter or your Instagram, before you do all that, don't let all these people in your head when you first wake up. All these goofies, listen. You, whatever email came in from your work, you don't need to see that when you wake up in the morning. Pray in tongues. That's what you need to do for the next 10 days. I'm issuing a challenge. Hello. I'm issuing a challenge. 10 days, 10 minutes a day, right when you wake up. Watch how it changes your life. You have to do it. You can't do it in your head. You have to do it out loud. No. You have to do it out loud. How do you pray in tongues? You have to be filled with the Spirit. I'm going to pray. That God would fill you. Some of you need a refill because you're leaky. You know that. I'm going to pray right now that God would fill you with his spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. If you're not filled with the spirit, if you don't have a heavenly prayer language, I want you to just lift up your hands or put your hands on the screen or on the screen of your phone or wherever you're listening. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your grace. Lord, you said that you had to go be with the Father. Another comforter would come when you did that. And he is our comforter. 
the Holy Spirit, our standby, our intercessor, our advocate, our convictor, and our convincer. So, Father, I thank you that if we ask for bread, you're not going to give us a stone or a snake. So we're asking you, Lord, to fill us again with your spirit to overflowing. Lord, you fill us once again with your spirit to overflowing in the name of Jesus. Just fill us, Lord. Fill us to capacity and then some in the name of Jesus. We ask this by faith. Now, whatever sound comes out of your mouth, you've got to open your mouth. Let the whole, Yield your tongue to the Holy Spirit. It'll sound like gibberish It'll, because it's like baby talk because you haven't developed your prayer language yet. It'll be like, ba, 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 I tie my bow tie. I drive my Hyundai. Amen. Pray, just don't be afraid. Just let it all come out. Get te ramashte, brakatam briste. Pray in the spirit. 10 minutes, 10 days. You're going to start tomorrow. So that's Friday. You're going to start on Friday. It's tomorrow, Friday. You're going to start on Friday. You're going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that means a week from next Monday. You're going to have all kind of breakthroughs to report. Amen. Remember, guys, today's broadcast is brought to you by the Ignite Prophetic Network. We have the Ignite Network and the Company of Sears at ignitenow.org. Go check that out. This is not a school that we have a school, but this is not the school. This is the practical aspect where you put into practice what you've learned. You can prophesy to other people. Other people can prophesy over you. I'm in there moderating so nothing gets crazy. I like these uh, free groups you see out there where all the false prophets are in there and they, they use fake names and they pretend to be me and they say they have an orphan. It's just for the record. I do not charge for prophecy. I do not have an orphanage as of the time of this broadcast. I And I don't plan to have one anytime soon. I do not have a personal assistant that's reaching out to you, asking for you to contact them privately. Um, this is all scams. You guys know better than that, okay? You got to know better than that. I know that the, our audience is growing all the time and some people don't know me. So that's why I felt compelled. Most of you know this. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to initiate a message to you on social media. I am not going to, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to DM you directly. We do answer DMs, but you're the one that's initiating it. I do not own an orphanage. I do not charge for prophecy. We don't play those games. So that's not me. If they find that, that's not me. Join Ignite, Ignite Prophetic, uh, IgniteNow.org. Check that out. GlobalPropheticCenter.com, the Elijah Company. It is coming right up, and we are getting clo inching closer and closer to being full. If you're going to apply, do that at globalpropheticcenter.com. If you're going to apply, do it now. It takes us a few days sometimes to look at these applications. You don't want to miss out. Check it out at globalpropheticcenter.com. What am I missing? Oh, check this out, guys. We have a new podcast in Espanol. We have a new podcast in Spanish. It's actually one of my English podcasts, English speaking podcast, and it's in Spanish. It's called the Prayer Warriors Podcast, but it's in Spanish. And that's going to be debuting any time now. So for all the all of you and all the Spanish speaking, we have Spanish family, you have people in Latin America who are who speak English, who speak Spanish. Send them the podcast; they can now enjoy it. We're going to be doing more and more of our content in Spanish. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited about it. Come on. Come on. Annette, are you not excited? Where's Annette? Are you not excited? Hello, Carol, are you not excited? I'm excited. I think it's cool. So check that out as well. Make sure you get on my email list. Now, my email provider has throttled me because somebody, we had some kind of an attack where a bunch of crazy people signed up just to report me as spam. And now I can't send emails. I'm trying to disputed or trying to figure out what to do, but I can only send, you know, not that many emails, like a hundred emails or something a day or something like that. So I probably won't even be able to send out the Sunday email because it would take it two weeks to, to send out. I'm not sure what to do guys. Got to pray in the natural. I can't do anything in the, in the spirit. You just see these, these attacks against me. You guys need to pray for me more <laughs> Go over there to Jennifer LeClaire's undercover intercessors and join my prayer team 
we really do need more prayer. This is just an attack from the pit of hell. I'm going to try to find a way to dispute it. So I sent it to my developer and I said, what can we do about this? That's what people do. You know, they go sign up for a bunch. Of, anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore. We're going to give any room, but pray for that. But do get on my email list. And if you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. But don't mark me spam. I'm sure it wasn't you. JenniferLeClaire.org slash subscribe. Guys, I've got to jump off here in a minute. I want to ask you to help me get to Israel and back. I'm going to be going to Israel on a prayer assignment in March. And if you want to sow into that, if you want to sow into the Holy Land, we're going there on a strategic prayer assignment. You can do that. It's not a public tour. It's a private thing at uh, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. I'm going to tell you quickly how to do that. We're going to pray you out. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can uh, become a partner there. You can sow a one-time seed there at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can also use the text to give. Text the word give, G-I-V-E. 754-701-2161, 754-701-2161, and then follow the prompts. You can use the Cash App. Cash App is dollar sign prophetic books, dollar sign prophetic books. You can use the Venmo, Venmo at, is uh, at Jennifer, at, uh, Jennifer LeClaire, is it? Yeah, it is. Zell is, uh, Zell is info at Jennifer LeClaire, we'll go P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. And PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Amen. And amen. Father, I thank you for all those who are giving today. I ask you to bless this offering and return it to the givers a hundredfold in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up all of the School of the Spirit.tv students, the uh, Ignite Prophetic Network, the Company of Seers, as well as the Global Prophetic Student, S -S Center students. We lift up the Awakening uh, Prayer Hubs leaders, the Awakening House of Prayer leaders, the Awakening House Church leaders, the Awakening Web Church members, and the uh, Awakening House of Prayer here in Fort Lauderdale, my local church. And we say, Lord, bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. Let your hand of power rest upon us and keep us from evil and causing pain. Father, give us this day our daily bread and help us to follow you perfectly. We're not perfect, but we can follow you circumspect. We can be careful. Help us to be careful where we're walking, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to glorify you with every breath we take and to please you as we go about your business today, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to remove our foot if we should step in evil, to remove our ears if we should find ourselves in the midst of gossip. And help us, Lord, just to just to just to prosper in everything we put our hand to. Protect us, lead us, guide us. And Lord, I just ask you to restore marriages, heal bodies, hmm, deliver people from evil, uh, bring home prodigals, and save our family members and friends who don't yet know you. God, we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Remember, ignitenow.org, globalpropheticcenter.com. Guys, have a breakthrough day.